Okay guys, it's time to now demonstrate to you how this flight, Qantas flight Q14 from Buenos Aires to Darwin, just proved flat earth. Let's take a quick look here on the wind currents. These are the jet streams around the face of the flat earth. And uh, you're going to see that close to the edge, the tailwinds is much faster, goes up to 250 miles per hour. Perhaps even more than that, we don't have the information. Exactly, that's what they give us. On the 7th of January, a British Airways Boeing 777 flew from New York to London in just 5 hours and 16 minutes, instead of the usual 7 hours, an exceptionally short flight time for a subsonic commercial aircraft. The aircraft's engines had not been pushed more than usual, but had simply taken advantage of an exceptionally strong tailwind, with a speed of around 400 kilometers or 250 miles an hour. The aircraft thus attained a speed approaching 1,200 kilometers or 745 miles an hour, close to that of the sound barrier. There was no danger, however, concerning air friction on the fuselage, since the plane was flying with the wind, not against it. I want you to pay attention to this. You can go to Flight Radar 24. Pay attention the airplane leaves when the side is at a normal speed, probably 500 miles per hour. And then all of a sudden, it goes ballistic until it arrives in Australia. This aircraft gained speed once it got on the jet stream. Once it got on the tailwind, it went ballistic and flew faster than the regular speed until it arrived in Australia. It's right in their face. They can't hide that. Uh, they got, they, this aircraft got on the jet stream and flew at speed up to uh, i'm gonna show you that this aircraft flew at an almost impossible not impossible because airplanes do fly at a higher speed than we are told especially when they get on the jet stream here's demonstrated on the flat earth map they left argentina and then got on the jet stream and just took off real fast and and just went faster than the regular speed until it arrived in Darwin. And another biggest proof, and I want to thank Jeronism and the guys from Globusters before pointing this out. The greatest proof is right here. This aircraft, uh, it says it left Buenos Aires at 12.28. Now, look, we know on the flat Earth, we, we average the speed of the sun circulating over the flat Earth at about 1,000 miles per hour which equals to what the globe believers believe the Earth spin spins on its axis at 12,000 miles per hour. So pay attention when this aircraft play, uh, leaves Argentina. The sun, which is faster, the daytime is faster than the speed of the aircraft, should leave the airplane behind, but it does not. It shows that the aircraft is flying at the same speed of the sun. Pay attention, it's always in that edge. He never gets left behind. He follows the sunlight. Right? So it that shows this aircraft flew at a much higher speed than 500 miles ground speed they are telling us he did. Okay, we believe the speed of the sun is uh, average a thousand miles per hour. You guys, globe believers, believe the earth spins at about a thousand miles per hour. So here is the aircraft going the same speed as the light of the sun, never being left behind. If this aircraft was uh, flying at a speed of only 500 miles per hour, ground speed, the light of the sun, it would leave this aircraft behind. Instead, it just flew along. Now look at here on the flat earth map. This is how it did. It flew along the light of the sun, the same speed. So it shows, it proves to us that this aircraft flew at an, uh, at a speed much higher than we are told. 1000 miles per hour, that's the speed of the, the sun or the speed of the rotation of the earth according to global believers. And this aircraft flew along the light of the sun just never was was never left behind so that proves that flight q14 shows that this flight flew along the jet streams and not 
on the spinning ball earth. It flew on the flat, non-rotating earth along with the jet stream. Thanks for watching guys. Please share this video. You can upload it to your channels. And there is a longer version coming up where I will expose some more lies from flight radar. But this is all the information you need for now. The earth is flat, stationary. And this airplane flew along the jet streams on a flat, non-rotating earth. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.